fresh out of an hour and a half long presentation, the Apple chief exec, Tim Cook there. We have two new phones that Apple announced today, the premium iPhone 5S and the slightly less premium iPhone 5C. Both of these will be replacing the iPhone 5, which is shortly to be phased out. This one, some very interesting technologies. The headline for this is the 64-bit architecture inside this phone, as well as a couple of new hardware features. Let me just take you through a few of them. The first thing you'll notice here is the ring round the home button. This actually houses a fingerprint sensor, very, very accurate and detailed. Fingerprint sensors have been used before on devices. This one hasn't been registered yet, so it won't actually work with my finger. Uh, but uh, unlike previous devices of many years ago, which used fingerprints to authenticate, this one will actually be used to buy apps and purchases from, for example, the iTunes store. So what about the 64-bit architecture? Well, that is going to come into its own on things like the camera. The camera has been completely redesigned, uh, and I can show you there if we show a picture of Tim Cook and Elvis Costello. We've got 21 photos that I just took in burst mode there uh, very, very quickly. And it's got some neat camera features, neat tricks up its sleeve, slow motion, 120 frames a second video, a better sensor, uh, twice as big. But the 64-bit architecture uh, and the process of being twice as fast as its predecessor uh, really should make a difference here. Now, the other phone announced today was the 5C, and it's this one here. It looks very similar to uh, its forebear in the iPhone 5. It's very slim and sleek, same shape, form factor. The big difference being the polycarbonate reed plastic finish. It's a single plastic covering the side and back, and it's got the uh, strengthened glass on the front. Of course, running iOS 7 as well with the colorful icons, uh, very fluid, bright uh, icons there, and that really plays well with the different colors that this comes in. This comes in five different colors. So, will this do enough to reverse what a lot of people have seen as a decline in Apple's fortunes over the past year? Well, Abby Greengart is research director at Current Analysis. Is this going to be enough to tip the needle the right way first and foremost for Apple? This is certainly going to help their iPhone sales. Consumers have been waiting for the new versions of the iPhone, and now we have them. And are there any major surprises from today's announcements? I think the biggest surprise is that the iPhone 5C is a premium product. It is not an inexpensive product designed simply to grab market share from Android in emerging markets. This is a beautifully designed high-end iPhone just made out of plastic in lots of different colors. When we look at their most premium product, the 5S, are you impressed with the kind of technology that we're seeing inside the 64-bit architecture in particular? The 64-bit architecture is impressive in the, in the iPhone 5 5S. I think it'll be even more impressive in the iPad when it comes to that product later this year. Uh, the Touch ID uh, uh, unlocking technology um, is actually it works a lot better than you would expect it to. Um, it's instantaneous. Uh, it allows you to keep your phone secure and then unlock it quickly and even make purchases just with a touch of your finger. So overall, enough to keep the Apple faithful happy, do you think? I think so. Enough to keep the wolves at the door. Abby Greengart, many thanks indeed.